in the event that anybody, any uh, foreign force would come up the river and attack London. Uh, so this was uh, one of the forts that was set up on this side of the river uh, and it's quite a substantial fortification. Uh, during the Second World War it also had uh, anti-aircraft batteries here as well and uh, there is still here to this day a Bofors gun uh, intact on the, on the upper battlement. The uh, other thing about uh, this particular place is the fact that there are in the front of it two massive gun barrels which were from, uh, you know, uh, six inch gun barrels. They're going to be used as anti-aircraft uh, barrels, uh, guns in the Second World War, but weren't. But they're stored here and these were brought in by a Chinook helicopter. Now this fortification is quite extensive. What you see here on the surface is only part of the fortification. The rest of the fortification is actually under the river because there are tunnels that go here under the river and they extend right out under the river. The other thing that's interesting about this place is the fact that uh, some while ago on television, the team from the only way of, of is Essex came down here to film and what they filmed was their experiences in the tunnels at night which are allegedly haunted and one or two of them did have a very very bad experience and had to leave so uh, it, this is um, the fort is now used it was used until recently for events so they would have motorcycle events car events uh, they would have visits and tours here of various descriptions. Now, at the moment, we 
don't know what's going to happen to this fort. Apparently it has been closed, not due to Covid, before that, and there is a rumour that it was going to be converted into housing, which is badly needed in this area. But it'd be a shame because, you know, in a way, this was uh, a nice place to come in the summer when they had car shows, motorbike shows and other things here. And of course, they would take you around. You still see the armour here. Inside, there's still active guns. And of course, if you, if you look up there, that barrel pointing out is the Bofors gun that I've been referring to. Um, these battlements are very, very substantial. They are meant to take a, a direct hit from a heavy shell and uh, these walls are in excess of five or six feet thick. So um, this has been a very active part of uh, Britain's defence. Of course, just over the river there, uh, that is where the Biggin Hill fighter station was and this is where the Battle of Britain over this river and over in that part of Kent actually took place. Thank <music> you.